Namaskar. Welcome to Guruji Ke Saath Travel Tuesdays and today we are going to go to the place known for its silk sarees all over the world. Yes, we are going to explore the temple town of Kanchipuram. Kanchipuram is located 80 km southwest of Chennai in Tamil Nadu. It is one of the seven Moksha Puri town in Bharatvarsh and 18 Divya Desham temples of Sri Vaishnavas are situated here. It is one of the most ancient cities of South India, which was the capital of the Pallava dynasty 1500 years ago during the 6th to 8th centuries. This was also the time when the Pallavas created the great stone monuments of Mahabalipuram, for which I have already made a video. Today, it's famous for its vibrant temples with spectacular architecture and they are colourful festivals. In terms of education, Kanchipuram stood second in glory to Banaras as it was a centre of learning arts and literature. But it started to descend after the Mughal invasions followed by three centuries of colonial rule under the British. The town has 108 Shiva temples and more than 18 Vishnu temples and is divided into two parts, Big Kanchi and Little Kanchi. The Big Kanchi is named as Shiva Kanchi which is the larger of the two sides. Little Kanchi is known as Vishnu Kanchi. Major Shiva temples are located in Shiva Kanchi and most Vishnu temples are in Vishnu Kanchi. There are over a thousand temples in Kanchipuram but the three main temples are first Varada Raja Perumal. Varada means boon and Raja means lord so Varada Raja means one who is lord of boons. People pray over here and ask boons from the lord. The original deity of this temple is millions of years old which is kept underwater after the Mughals invaded India and is bought out once in 40 years. A famous pastime of the Lord is that he used to talk to his devotees while being served. Varadaraja Perumal is also famous for a marriage hall that was built in remembrance of the marriage between Lord Vishnu and Mother Lakshmi. It's a 1,000 pillared hall known as Kalyan Mandapam. Each of these pillars reiterate the life of Lord Vishnu with the intricate carvings on it. There is also an enormous chain that was engraved out of one single stone. Second, Ek Ambareshwar Temple. It is one of the five elemental temples dedicated to Lord Shiva. Unlike other temples, the Lingam is made out of earth representing the element of earth. The height of the Gopuram here is almost 200 feet with beautiful carvings which dominates the skyline of Kanchipuram. There is a sacred mango tree under which Mother Parvati made Lingam out of earth. It is more than 3000 years old and it is said it gives out four different varieties of mango in the four different seasons. The architecture of this place is amazing huge hallways and 1008 shivling installed in the corridors. The amazing thing to see is that this is the Divya Desham and apart from Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu is also worshipped here in a separate altar. So both Shaivites as well as Vaishnavas visit this temple. Third, Kanchi Kamakshi Aman Temple. Kamakshi comes from the conjunction of three words, Ka, Ma and Aksh. Ka means Saraswati, Ma means Lakshmi and Aksh means eyes. She whose eyes are Lakshmi and Saraswati. Kamakshi temple at Kanchi is one of the 51 Shakti Pitas on earth. A very important Shakti Pita. You can see the deity sitting in a Padma Asan lotus posture which is a Swayambhu that means self manifested. And one of the Gopurams is covered with pure gold. It is mentioned that Devi Kamakshi is the Kul Devi of Ikshwaku Vanj and Maharaj Dashrat from Ayodhya performed Putra Kameshri Yagya over here and hence people desiring to have children come and pray over here. This temple is also a Devidesham and Lord Vishnu is also installed here who acts as a protector of this place. Apart from history and spirituality, Kanchipuram is also known for its high quality silk saris woven on handlooms by thousands of families in the district. Silk weaving industry is an important occupation here and 
Kanchipuram sarees are one of the most popular silk sarees in the whole world. If you get an opportunity, do visit this historic and spiritual place. If you like this video, you can follow me for daily videos on lifestyle, travel and wisdom. Dhaniwad.